So this is the second video for January 23rd, 2022. About 40 minutes have passed. Actually, it was a half an hour. And, no, a whole hour it had taken with the 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of filtered spring water. Four aroma medium sized tomatoes that I diced along with uh, about six medium, a uh, small, t uh, no, six medium to large sized cloves of garlic that I'd minced. About a level teaspoon worth of coarsely ground Himalayan pink salt, or let's say about, I think it was 20 rotations from this two inch in diameter, approximately dispenser. One level tablespoon of organic tamari sauce. About three to four level tablespoons of balsamic. And now I just add in the other ingredients that I usually, except I'm using only a tablespoon worth of organic vegan cane sugar. I may not even have to. I don't know yet. Would be like a dust to taste type of thing. Soy milk powder, brown rice milk powder, the usual. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm just gonna get the soy milk powder there. So. Turned out really good looking. About five level tablespoons worth of soy milk powder. Usual serving size so far. Brown rice milk powder. Usually I use half of the amount that I would normally, uh, half the amount of uh, volume for the brown rice milk powder to soy milk powder. So half the measurement of the soy milk powder for the brown rice milk powder. So that'd be about two to three level tablespoons worth. Just enough to fortify it with those extra B vitamins. There we go. Oh, God, let the hair complain. It becomes just like with the tomato paste, it's a bit less an anato coloring or less beta carotene at first and then I'll adjust it with some water and then when I heat it it'll become red again less muddy looking after some time where with the tomato paste which has a similar pigment to the sauce that I had made already I did this once before, maybe I made the same mistake again, but it'll turn back to the color of red, like a tomato sauce. Whereas with the tomato paste, it looks really white or pale at first, similar to that.
So it's about a teaspoon worth, uh, close to a tablespoon worth of sugar left that was in there. Oh yeah, potato starch, like the way I would normally make it. Yeah. Well, usually I use sweet white rice flour, but I've been using potato starch. It's like an the other. It's okay! It, oh god, you're tripping, Bridget. It's not... It's not... Don't... Jeez, nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. You're panicking for no reason, okay. There. I usually use about three level tablespoons of the potato starch. I have to add water. So I'm treating the sauce I had already made with the 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of filtered spring water after most of it evaporated. I'm going to include another bottle, just like I would with tomato paste. It's okay. Yeah, because the tomato paste was bad, remember? So I had to make homemade tomato sauce. It's okay. It's starting to get dark again. I have to get water. Remember the can of tomato paste was bad? Remember? Yeah, but you don't put vinegar in it. Yeah, you did put vinegar in sauce. Excuse me. Why is my finger covering? Oh, there it is. Okay. Did you ask him? He just show up on the set and ring that doorbell? Let's see. That's what it looks like now. Let's turn red again. Once I do this. I'm going to actually add less water than I would normally do with, in place of, let's say, the can of tomato paste. And I would normally use the can of tomato paste. I would use more water than I'm going to use tonight. I may be wrong. So, for now I'm starting with um, about three quarters of an eight fluid, eight fluid ounce measuring cup of water. Not completely a half a bottle here is being used about. If you take a half a bottle and subtract a third or a quarter, once this boil begins to boil, it'll turn like a tomato sauce again, like a red color. It vigorously. Okay. Once it heats in the oven, it turns more red again. Just throw some more water. So far I'm using almost one and a quarter cup. One 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 liquid measuring cup plus a quarter, or I should say a third, almost.
That's the way it normally would look um, with the tomato paste. About that. The pail. So. In the meantime, I have to seal these bags. I suppose that's not bad. Well, I wasn't expecting the tomato paste to have gone bad, you know. I didn't know it was a bad can of tomato paste, so I'd make tomato sauce. You know, sometimes that happens. I mean, if you choose to not have some tonight, if it, you know, maybe you can warm up another vegan chicken patty or something if you want another. By that time, this will be, uh, there's always tomorrow, you know, I'll have leftovers, obviously. But you could, you know, I'm just saying in about 40 minutes or so, this will be done. Turn this off for now. Yeah. Oops, we add in a little extra balsamic. Got to add in the olive oil too. It's another thing. One, two, three. It was about two table two level tablespoons and a teaspoon of balsamic I added extra. I thought I'd in the olive oil. I'm just trying to do that. About five level tablespoons worth. Let's go. Turn this off for a sec. It'll turn into a tomato sauce soon. Jeez, I hate when this happens. About a minute left before the 15 minute mark. I did this once before, and that's why I was saying that, you know, earlier that I made a mistake one other time, but it does turn it's red color in the oven once it bakes. Or I should say it turns more red. 